with your second pick in the first round, you go for Earl Thomas, the safety out of Texas. What was your thinking there? We, were, uh, we, we didn't think that we'd get a chance at Earl Thomas. We think he's an incredible football player and a guy that we love. Uh, his versatility, his playmaking ability, uh, all of the things that you like in, in a football player. With the 14th pick in the 2010 NFL Draft, the Seattle Seahawks select Earl Thomas, defensive back, Texas. Coach, it's one thing to get to the intercept the ball and somebody says first down the other way. You're watching this guy get interceptions and take them all the way back. That what we that thing we call pick six. That's a difference maker. That's what Ed Reed does. That's what Troy Palomalu does. Those are the guys who, that you want on your football team, and they are game makers. This is going to be the defense you're going to see this year. Yeah, I'm saying the front four was the starting front four. Oh, big collision. Pass intended for Percy Harvin and Earl Thomas ran right into him. Both guys slow to get up until Thomas suddenly popped up. by the rookie Earl Thomas and Thomas out of bounds Antonio Gates the intended receiver but that's heads up by the rookie Earl Thomas that's why they took him in the first round he brings it back 34 yards all the way to the 11 now let's see if shotgun formation River steps throws intercepted it's over Earl Thomas with his second pick the Seattle Seahawks will hold on for the victory. Looking, looking, intercepted. Big time play. That's Earl Thomas. He had two interceptions last week. And he comes up with one now. The 14th pick overall in this year's draft. Comes up with a huge play. Talk to Sam Bradford. He said, I've always got to be aware of where 29 is. He's a terrific athlete. He's a ball hawk. Right here, he just doesn't see Earl Thomas. Look at that catch. One hand snags it in. Max Hall floats one, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Earl Thomas. First round pick out of Texas, his fourth interception of the season. In the drive. For the tight end, and it's intercepted, Earl Thomas. There's a penalty flag back at the one-yard line. Thomas gets across the 17. The pass was intended for Kellen Davis. In high school, we heard on the news there was a storm coming. It was Hurricane Rita. We evacuated. When we came back, I realized it was not as small as I thought. There's no house, just strictly bricks and, uh, you know, grass. And then the church, it had a big hole in the roof. The roof of the church was at the corner about a mile away. We took a big hit. You know, we lost so many uh, valuables, memories, pictures, uh, you know, stuff that you can't get back. The times were pretty tough. Destroyed homes, you like where I'm gonna live at now. My mom always told me I was a miracle child. The reason why my mom calls me a miracle child, she was diagnosed with cancer. The doctor said that she would never have children and uh, gave her six months to live. She was healed of cancer and she had me, miracle child number one, and uh, my brother, which is miracle child number two.
just reading Cam Newton's eyes as he looked back. Earl Thomas was off. But this is a guy who very much the heart and soul of this defense doesn't say a whole lot. But he is the guy that can just fly sideline to sideline and make plays, and that is not a good sight. Yeah, the Legion of Boom all gathering around all the DBs who are concerned, obviously, coming off. Obviously, this is a huge loss for Seattle and a huge break for my Cowboys. And I'm sorry because I, I admire this guy as much as I admire any football player out there. He is a football player. He's not the biggest guy. No. But he's got the biggest heart I think I, I've seen on any defense in football. And remember, any, Skip, he played what? Was it the last half or maybe the entire game of that Super Bowl against the Patriots with a separated yeah. shoulder with him? Yeah. And so that just goes to show you how tough he is and what this game means to him. Yeah, and they're a different team when he's in as opposed to when he's out. I'm going to show you how great I am. You got to go through pain. They, they are success. When you travel down success, you got to go through the road of pain, baby. I told you before, if it was easy, everybody would do it. Forget about it. A guy that plays with that type of fire doesn't just let it go because of the win. He's an ultimate eraser. There's nobody that plays the middle of the field the way that Earl Thomas does. You're talking about probably the best free safety in the league. Guy who has tremendous range. I mean, you see it all the time. They hit on, you know, Gronkowski. The safety I'll probably respect the most is Earl Thomas. We're taking Will away now! We're taking all they Will away now! He's thrown again, and off the fingertips, and intercepted! Earl Thomas has the pick! He's at midfield, Seattle has the football! Chris, I was just getting ready to say, somebody on this Seahawks defense now has to make a play. And at the end of the day, this is a drop by Julio Jones. Patriots up by 10. Brady fires. Intercepted. Picked off once again. Earl Thomas for Seattle. And Thomas is out of bounds out near the 20-yard line. Tom Brady, another rare mistake. This one inside the red zone, 22-yard return. Cunningham in the backfield, here's Hill. Cunningham open, can he make a move to get there? Did he have the ball? Yeah, touchdown. Wow! They're going to say that he dropped the ball before he gets to the end zone. See him making a play. Look at Earl Thomas punching the football. Ball was fumble at the half yard line, into and out of the end zone. It's a touchback. Down the ball, first left. Coming in on Fitzpatrick. Good protection for Fitzpatrick. And the pass intercepted by Earl Thomas. Thomas picks it off. Inside the 30, inside the 20. Thomas has one man to beat, and what a run for the touchdown. Jay 
Jason Jones started it all with the pressure on Fitzpatrick. And 57 yards, and of course they're going to have a review of this anyway, as they do, as John mentioned, on all turnovers and scores. These guys are ball hawks. They're going to throw the football up careless. He's got Jones bearing down on guys like Earl Thomas. They're going to come up with the football. Let's have that golden touch with running backs. Aired out. Garcon and kicked off. Intercepted by Earl Thomas. Earl Thomas is going back to the Pro Bowl for a reason. You see, I mean, he reads this the entire way. There's nobody on the other side of the field. No, really, 27-14, and Ryan throws it down the field. It's intercepted. Or was it out of bounds? No, it is an interception, a second screen leap for Earl Thomas. You wonder about that decision by Matt Ryan. Time throwing and intercepted at the 42 yard line by Earl Thomas. You were talking about yeah. turnovers, and then Ryan Fitzpatrick has to be just ready to kick himself in the seat of his pants if he was that flexible. Talked about the commitment to punishing people. They've been punishing people ever since. Manning going for the corner against Sherman. Thomas off the tip. Has it for Seattle. It's a touchback. And another interception. The fifth for the Seattle defense. This is incomplete. Maybe not. Seahawks tip ball. And they come away with the interception. Earl Thomas. Looked like four different players had a hand on it. K.J. Wright and Owen Daniels had a shot at it. And now they're calling it incomplete. Well, K.J. Wright's the first one to get his hands on it, making the break. Then Daniels has it. Then Cam Chancellor pops it up. And that's that looks like good. an interception to me by Earl. Kaepernick. Batted in the air. Intercepted at the one-yard line and run back to the 12-yard line. Gonna go long. It's Jerry tipped and intercepted. Hit off. And on Earl Thomas. Out of bounds, they're saying. There's a little argument going on with the, with the referees right now. The ball is underthrown. Browner does a great job stripping the football. Boy, that looked like an interception to me. Earl Thomas coming over the top. Now, there's some separation here. Larry Fitzgerald stacks them. That's a great route and an underthrown football. That's an interception all day long. And it keeps it going for it all. Beckham in the end zone. Pick off. Intercepted by Thomas. Earl Thomas back the other way. Outside the 40. When you go against Richard Sherman, you got to be real careful on the deep throw. Beckham having to try to play defense here, tips it up. Oh, Thomas is able to come away with the pick. Since we came here in the summer, I'm coming back next year the same way.